2022 PFL heavyweight runner-up, Mr. Mateusz Buffa. Mateusz, how are you, my friend? Welcome back. Oh, thanks, brother. It's, it's always a huge honor to uh, have a conversation with you. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm grateful to, to be back in PFL. I'm glad you're here too. How is how do you feel ahead of the 2023 regular season? Uh I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is this is awesome, you know, brother. Uh I'm still between the 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 10 best uh heavyweights in the world, you know, and <clears throat> I'm grateful, you know. Uh things I'm uh, I do very good for this fight. And I'm very excited. I recall you told me last year that you're a man on a mission. You were aiming to cement your legacy, to build your your legacy. Um, is this still your main goal this year? Yeah, for sure. This is still my main goal. Uh, I want to be remembered by, by people, you know, to what I did in my life. And... This is this is this is my legacy for sure, a hundred percent. You will have your the chance to start your legacy for the twenty twenty three PFL season as you take on Bruno Capelosa. How much confidence does it give you the fact that you defeated him last year in such a dominant fashion and took home that unanimous decision? Uh so to the. Uh... I think some people uh, still don't believe me. Oh. You know, I think some some people still don't don't believe in Matheus Buffa. You know, as a as a fighter, as a halfway fighter. Uh, if you see my 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 record now, you know, this will be my my fifth fight in in, in PFL. Uh, four of these fights against a champion or former champion of the world. You know, so. Two fights against Zante, and now two fights against uh, Bruno, and I think still some people don't believe me. You know, don't believe in my potential, and this is another thing to I to I prove this year. You know, to prove that I can uh, I can be there between these guys. You know, and be the guy, uh, be the champion. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Uh, I, I, I won him last year. Uh, Bruno is a, is a, is a, is a nice guy. Uh, great haul, you know, uh, he comes from nothing as me, you know, we are from, from, from small cities, but this is the business brother. Everybody have a, a sad story to tell to people. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a very a lot of confidence, you know. Uh, yeah, it would be why nice. Did, why do you think some people are still doubting you, brother? I think some people believe that I beat Bruno by lucky or something like a Bruno was in a good day, because last year Bruno was the guy who who to to be beating. You know what I mean? I mean, his 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 last loss was for for GD Projaska, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I I don't know, maybe but maybe because my first fight to Ante, I, I I lost, and then I back fight against Bruno. I beat Bruno, and I think some people, I think not, I not think I'm sure some people have these things in 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 their mind, you know, that I beat him by lucky or or he wasn't on a good day. Or some shit like that, you know? I understand. You just told me that, uh, you know, you consider Bruno Capelosa a good guy. But if I know wrong, last year you didn't touch gloves ahead of your fight. Was there any animosity between the two of you at the time? Or was just, you know, the fight, the fact that you were actually, you know, supposed to, to fight in a few seconds? Uh... Actually, brother, uh, 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 Bruno start his fight uh, with a lot of energy. You know, I know him, don't like to touch gloves. And 
I, I, I don't know, you know, uh, I'm not, actually, you, you, you remember me by that, by that beginning of the fight, you know, but, uh, you know, it, this is the business, brother, you know, uh, some people, uh, fight better with angry, some people fight better with, uh, a more intelligent, some people are, uh, have, uh, prefer to be more calm in the fight, uh, but I, I, but I like Bruno, brother. You know, I like Bruno, but he's the guy in 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 front of me now, and is the guy between my my belt this year. You know, are you going to touch gloves this time? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. But you know. In the, in the in the in the first of the fight we don't touch gloves, but in the second, the third round we touch gloves. Actually, before before the the third round we 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 hug each other, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. No, that's fine. I was just uh, curious to hear how is the relationship uh, between the two of you. No, it's it, it, yeah, it's it's good. You know, it's good. We we are not close friends, but I mean, uh, we respect each other. You know. And he's a nice guy, you know. I I know he. We, we have a lot of uh, uh, common friends, you know. Uh, we have the same friends. We're not close, but yeah, he's a nice guy. But when the cage closes, and close the door, uh, it's just a fight, just a business. What What about the biggest takeaway from your first season with the Professional Fighters League? What was the biggest lesson you learned last year? After again, after defeating, uh, you know, quite the name in uh, Bruno Capelosa, as you mentioned, he was the name uh, to beat last year. You know, especially at the beginning of uh, the 2022 regular season. Uh the biggest lesson, brother, uh, to not put uh, uh, so many pressure before the fights, you know. Uh, at the final, I was with a lot of, lot of pressure in my shoulders. Uh, I let, I let, uh, I left everything behind, you know. Uh, I mean, I stopped to give my classes. I stopped to, to, to do everything. So I just trained train 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 to fight in the final and this fight has has a lot of pressure just for the 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 the, the size of the fight you know a title fight a million dollars fight and I, I I should be try to stay more 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 calm more easy you know what I mean but I put a lot of pressure you know on me and I think the biggest lesson that I learned was that you know to not to not make more pressure than the fight is, you know. Did that pressure impacted your performance? Uh, in sorry, did that pressure impact your performance in the finals? A hundred percent, brother. A hundred percent, you know. Uh, I know I can beat Auntie. You know, I lost for him two times, but I know I can beat him. And yeah, man, I, I felt a lot of pressure. You know, when I, when we arrive in, in New York, uh, I, I usually go out, you know, the first day I go out to, to, to walk, you know, just walk with, uh, with, with my coaches. We were there and then I, I, I saw in the, in the television, my face in the television in the in the the most famous streets in New York, you know, and I start to feel the more pressure on there, you know, and I start to 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 thinking about my life, to think about my about my things, and uh, wasn't good, you know, wasn't wasn't a good feeling. How are you going to deal with it? this pressure you told me that you learned not to put that much pressure on your shoulders but still there will be some pressure 
you know, ahead of your fights. And the more you proceed into the, the tournament, the more pressure you'll have. Uh, how are you planning to deal with it? And how is your strategy uh, for it? Uh, so uh, uh, I start to work with a, a psychologist. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it has been very good for me, you know, to know me better, you know, brother. Uh, I think be, be, before I uh, I beat my opponent inside the cage, I have to beat my opponent here, you know. And I have to, I, 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 I think I learned it to control the monster inside me, you know what I mean? If I control the monster inside of me, brother, if I if I if I know how how we use this monster in, in the right time, uh I get invincible, you know. I understand that. Yeah, you know, that's good to develop some strategies ahead of uh, the fights and of course uh to to deal with uh, this this pressure. Um Mateus, I finished my questions again. Do you have uh, a last message before you know? Let's uh, let you go before letting you go. So, uh, as I said, you know, I'm blessed to be back in PFL tournament. Uh, this is a dream come true. As I said before, some people uh, just dream the day dreams, and I'm lucky to live my dream every day. So, for the fans, I, I, I appreciate a lot you have done for me. And this year, you're going to see. Uh, more complete, Mateus Sheffel. Mateus Buffa, uh, uh, Bruno Capelosa, April 7th. Mateus, best of luck with the upcoming fight, and hopefully I will hear again from you in the future.